What's up everybody? Welcome back to another edition of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. You know, we do a lot of research on starter fertilizer products and additives here in PFR. So in today's episode, we're gonna take a look at some starter programs for both corn and soybeans. But before we do that, I'm Aaron, this is Colin. Let's dig in. All right, Aaron, we should probably start off with everyone's favorite crop first. Obviously corn. It's corn. I mean, when was the last time you seen a soybean themed fall festival? It's a valid point. Part one, starter fertilizer on corn. When someone says starter fertilizer, your mind probably goes to one of two ways. in applications, or banded applications off the seed. Banded applications refers to two by two, two by two by two, dripping on top of the ground, you know, those kinds of things. But what do you say we kick this off by talking about in furrow starter products first? It seems like just about everyone has their own blend of N, P, and K fertilizers these days. So we won't spend a bunch of time debating which product is best. However, we will throw out that we have two PFR proven products. Impulse 1184 by Nature's and Pure Grade Diamond 6246 from the Andersons. On the screen, you'll see five highlighted products. These are additives designed to enhance the Inferro starter product you're already using. They are not replacements. Now, we won't break down every product on the list, but I do want to point out how many of them contain sugar. There are a lot of different sugar products out there, and most of them are pretty daggone cheap. So that makes them an easy, inexpensive addition that generally gives us a pretty solid ROI. Think of it as like a energy drink for your crops, but you don't get jittery like I do when I drink caffeine. We've also got some PFR proven starter protection products that can be ran in furrow. Most of these are insecticides, but you'll notice that one is actually a fungicide and that is Xantheon just barely squeaking in. Lastly, we have some PFR proven biological products that can be ran in furrow also. Some of these contain living organisms while other are biostimulants that feed the biology already in the soil. With both the starter protection and the biological products, be sure to consult with the label for tank mixing compatibility with other starter products. When it comes to banded fertility with the planter, <laughs> banded applications refers to two by two, two by two by two, dripping on top of the ground, you know, those kinds of things. <laughs> Farmers have a variety of blends that they can use. Most are heavy on nitrogen, but can also contain some phosphorus. Most of our testing has been done with regular old UAN, which typically contains 28 to 32% nitrogen. For starter additives in these applications, you'll see two on the screen, Nano N Plus and Feast 10% Boron. Nano N Plus is a new PFR proven product that uses nanoparticles to deliver nutrients more efficiently into the plant. It has given us consistently high returns over the last three years and has a very low and has a very low root, oh my gosh and has a very low use rate at just four ounces per acre. If you're looking for a starter protection product to add in, check out Zyway LFR, a new PFR proven product this year. We've seen consistent yield gains, 100% of the time actually, and a positive ROI 85% of the time. For biological products, we've got two PFR proven options. Start Right by Ag Biologic and Monty's Liquid Carbon by Monty's Plant Food. These were tested in two by two applications and have provided solid returns. Just like the Inferro products, always check the label for tank mix compatibility because nothing ruins a planting season like a surprise chemistry lesson. Boy, have I been there. Part two, starter fertilizer on soybeans. Many of you probably already run some kind of starter on your corn planter, but when it comes to soybeans, I'd venture to say a lot of you aren't. Over the past few years, we've really ramped up our soybean starter research and actually found some profitable ways to use starter on soybeans. Just like with corn, we have a few in products that can help improve profitability. The first PFR proven product is First Pass with Microcarb from the Andersons. First Pass is a 3-5-15 fertilizer that also contains fulvic acid, manganese, and boron. 
When it comes to handling and logistics, it shouldn't slow down your planting progress since it's applied at only two gallons the acre. If you're looking for some in protection for your soybeans, we have two insecticides and one fungicide that are PFR proven. We've got two variations of capture from FMC, both insecticides, and Serenade ASO, a biological fungicide from Bayer. Some other biological products include Teramax Liquid in and Invita. These products contain living organisms and help inoculate the soil. More and more we get questions from farmers. I've got one planter for corn and soybeans and it's outfitted with 2x2x2 two by two by two or dribble tubes. What can I do for my soybeans through that system? After years of testing, we can confidently recommend two products for those setups. The first one, and the one that gave us the highest return on investment, is good old UAN. We found that 30 units of nitrogen is that sweet spot. Just enough to kickstart those soybeans, but not enough to inhibit natural nodulation. We've also seen good results from using two gallons of thiosol, a 120026 fertilizer. The ROI hasn't been quite as high as the UAN, but the returns have been slightly more consistent. So this coming year, we're actually gonna be looking at a combination of UAN and sulfur on soybeans to see if that's an even more profitable option. In summary, Colin, give me the meat and potatoes. There are a ton of different starter fertilizer blends out there. Inferro products focus on phosphorus and potassium, while banded products focus more towards nitrogen and phosphorus. We've got a handful of PFR proven additives that can enhance your current starter or provide pest protection. And always check labels and do a jar test before adding anything new to your system, unless you like surprises and not of a fun kind. Not the fun ones. Hopefully you guys can take a lesson from today's episode and try something new this spring when it comes to starter fertilizer on corn or soybeans. With that, we'll have links in the description for the studies we covered in this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you get notified when we upload future videos. And as always, we'll see you again on another episode of The Dig. The first one. I always talk with my hands. I was, I, I was getting no, I was getting down to your level because like I flat I can't see that top that top line. So I'm getting, getting down to your level to see if I can see it. That's good. That's good. So. He's not gonna use it anyway. Uh, Alright, fine. Me the fish and bread. Give me the fish and bread. Okay. Alright.